Uh, oh, where the bio, the bioluminescent. Yeah. Uh, we the didn't. I, I went yeah. near there, but we're we'll, ready. We'll, 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 okay. okay. All right. Five, four, and just project a little more when you speak. Tell me the name again. Biz, Biz Talk, Talk show. show. Okay. Thank you. Just remember, project a little bit more, even though we're mic'd. Okay. We still got these. Five, four, three. Hey everybody, I'm Jen. Welcome to Biz Talk, the show. I am here with Chris Johnson. And Chris Johnson's company is Grades for Life. Grades for Life. And what does Grades for Life do? So um, it's great to be here. Then thanks a lot. Um, Grades for Life is a nonprofit organization, and we uh, we focus on youth empowerment, youth leadership. We actually have a, uh, a program um, that focuses on youth entrepreneurship, where we teach cool. kids how to start businesses. Um, and within the program, we sort of take them through business fundamentals, um, teach them the ins and outs, financial literacy. And then from okay. there, we actually host like a Shark Tank-esque type of event where they get to pitch their businesses in front of real type, real business owners, leaders, community leaders, and, and, and what have you. That sounds awesome. What ages do you primarily work with? So we have two different programs. One is uh, more focused on um, ages 12 to 17. Okay, and we big have kids. one that are it's a little bit younger, mm -hmm. focused on 8 to 12. It also has a STEM component where we do, um, I think I heard you uh, say you do slime as well. We yes. Teach them, <laughs> teach them how to make slime and actually make a business out of it and market it and everything. That's fantastic. And um, so do you, what is your, how do you work with the kids? How do you work within the company? So, um, well, I'm the executive director and founder. Um, and um, I, I teach I teach the program as well, mm -hmm. and I also have instructors that, work, that I work with that teach it. Um, I, I created like the curriculum, um, okay. and also a little bit about me. I'm, I'm a college professor, um, so mm -hmm. you know, I teach them about business um, and just just really how to operate and own their own businesses and be able to run that and, and build businesses based on their passion. Very cool. And so do you work closely with the public schools in your areas or is this a, a whole separate entity? So I do work with schools. So we work with schools, organizations, and we also work with like different municipalities and counties. Um, so um, we'll work with the county and then the county may put us in certain schools. So right now we're in, um, we're in Union County, mm -hmm. um, Somerset County, um, Essex County, and... Um, Missing one. Oh, and Pasadena County. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what do you find the most enjoyable about your business? Yeah, I, I would say what's enjoyable is seeing them from the beginning, where mm -hmm. initially they're, you know, unsure about what they can do, and then by the end, they're they're more empowered and they're like, you know, they're ready to make money, right? They're they're ready to become business owners, and they believe they can start businesses as well. So seeing them gain confidence right, in right. what they're doing. Right. Um, and what do you find is the most challenging aspect of working with, I guess, working with the kids or working with your business and the kids? Yeah, I mean, I would say finding different locations to do it, you know, so um, it's been, you know, we've, we've grown in terms of, um, we started the program, um, we were specifically in more East Orange, right? Okay. Um, now we do it in East Orange, now we're in a couple of other places. So really just, mm -hmm. um, just growing it, you know, so that we can reach more kids and, and um, inspire more leadership. And how long have you been in business? So um, 2015, we founded Grace for Life. Um, okay. And um, yeah, it's grown since there. And then now we're doing more, we're working with more places and we're just looking to inspire more, more students and more youth. And how many employees do you have? Um, I mean, I, I guess everybody, including the teachers. Yeah, I mean, like, so we have, typically when we have a program, I typically have around mm -hmm. two instructors per program. Okay. So um, it really just depends on what programs we have. I would say mm -hmm. right now we have three programs going on, mm -hmm. um, but we also ramp it up and, and we're, we hire more when we get more programs. And you have somebody who designs a curriculum for you, or I guess a team of people? Um, well, I actually developed the curriculum myself. Oh, okay. Um, and we use that curriculum and then we, do, we work with cohorts of students, so. Um, yeah. All right, and how do you differentiate the education? Um, we have different levels, you know, so I mentioned we have like 8 to 12, mm -hmm. so we have um, a program or a curriculum that's specific mm -hmm. for that, then we have 12 to 17 or a program that's, that's uh, specific to that, then we have more, you know, more of the individualized where we work with, okay. with more youth um, directly, and we have a program mm -hmm. that's specific to that. So we have a couple different versions of the curriculum, mm -hmm. um, we work with based on um, what, what suits the, the, the needs. And what challenges have you experienced in working with the schools? 
um, you know, it's just really just getting the word out there um, and really growing it into the schools. So funding is always an issue, right? You mm -hmm. know, so we have to fund the program. We also, when we do a Shark Tank type of event, we do give the kids mm -hmm. funding. You know, so they're actually oh. able to make to make money. Uh, we've also hosted okay. um, pop-up shop events where they're able, able to make money. So, you know, we have mm -hmm. um, kids that, like, um, I'll tell you, over summer we hosted like a pop-up shop where mm -hmm. one girl she made like these lemonades and she sold out in an hour she made five hundred dollars an hour oh wow um, so um you know so those are some of the success stories where they're able to take their vision that they had mm -hmm. initially and create a business and also make money from it all right so let me ask a question about the inventions mm -hmm. now so have you encountered um a, a student i'll say a child mm -hmm. um have you encountered a child who had an invention where you were like this is going to be millions of dollars. Um, we've had some really good ideas um, come through. So um, I remember um, we did a program in Plainfield. We had one student, he had this like fanny pack idea that um, mm -hmm. it was very interesting, um, but it had, um, you know, different ways that you could use use the fanny pack. You know? Okay. So his idea was to have like a sort of plastic fanny pack, but mm -hmm. when you see like you know we're we're in the water, so it's a perfect place, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine you have like a plastic fanny pack, right? You know, uh -huh. people always put their phones in somewhere. Right. So imagine you could put your phone in that, and and he has a way sort of velcro it to and you, it's like, so it oh. stays it stays too. So I think there's ways to to utilize that type of thing. Uh -huh. So I would say that was, that was a really good idea. Um, we had. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of students they want to do things that are like health oriented as well. So they have hair products. They have, oh, cool. um, you know, we have one one girl. She does like glass paintings. She like she has a way of like cutting out glass and, mm -hmm. and she's an artist. Um, oh, wow. Sneaker customization. So you know, they all have interesting ideas so based on what they like. You know, so um, I, know. I think you know. So there's a saying: um, if you work doing what you love <laughs> yes. you never really have to work you know right. so that's the idea so if they could figure out how to make money off of their passion mm -hmm. it doesn't really feel like work so you're helping other potential small businesses right and what is it i just totally lost what i was going to ask you i'm so sorry <laughs> it's okay um so once they leave the nest mm -hmm. where can they go from there um, well, yeah, so uh, like I mentioned, we try to host like pop-up shop events, mm -hmm. you know, so we always call back um, and we, we always refer to some of the, um, the entrepreneurs. Also, um, we sometimes we're going to host like more more standalone Shark Tank events where we just okay. have like, let's say we travel to a place like here mm -hmm. and we hosted um, a, a Shark Tank event. We could call on some of our past um our past students to be, able oh, okay. to be able to take a part of it and they're able to win funding and prizes you know so ah, it's good so exposure like and everything like that you know so a place like like this where we, where we have access to um, maybe cameras things like that mm -hmm. it gets their name out there so like that's that's the whole goal to be able to um, teach them initially and mm -hmm. then grow with them as they as they grow so like a mentorship as well right so it is a mentorship program as well yeah right. very cool so what um, what resources did you use to start your business? Uh, well, so you know, I mentioned I'm you know a college professor. Mm -hmm. I'm also I'm also an author of a book. Um, um, it's a kids' book called How oh, okay. Became How I Became a Kid Entrepreneur. You know, so that's oh, so wow. that is one thing. And then part of my other background is um, I have like a technology pl platform where mm -hmm. um, when students get good grades, good behavior, they're able to earn like prizes, points. So okay. that was so we were already in education that way, mm -hmm. and now we sort of built on where. Now we're creating entrepreneurs or helping to uh, fuel entrepreneurs. Okay, so you kind of have, you're an entrepreneur and you're helping other entrepreneurs, but um, so what did you, what resources did you get to start your business? Like what gave you the idea, hey, I'm gonna start this Grades for Life and help other people? Um, well, yeah, I guess my background before that, so I, I used to work at, um, you know, I started out, I used to work in retail. Mm -hmm. um, so I was a manager in retail and it was it was good but it wasn't like fulfilling for me you know so okay. i wanted to do something that was more and that i felt like was more impactful you know so mm -hmm. um you know i just threw out the idea i came up with the idea initially was the good grades good behavior that was the idea of okay. it and then it transformed where you know it grew into youth entrepreneurs and, and figure it out nowadays everybody wants to be an entrepreneur everybody wants to have a yeah. side hustle for do their, their side hustle right <laughs> so so um you know to be able to give that type of experience you know even me like mm -hmm. i was learning as i go right so i was an entrepreneur mm -hmm. in the beginning 
learning, put my feet, so put my putting one foot in front of the other. Right. So now if I can give that same experience to some mm -hmm. of the things that I learned and take cut out mm -hmm. some of the mistakes that I made and give that to some of the kids, right. then I think there's you know there's each one teach one, right? You know, so like oh, that's, nice. that's more so um, where where that came from. All right, and so if somebody wants to get in touch with you to have you do, I guess um. How do they do it? How, they, how do you they, do that? Yeah, we, they, we call you up and say, all right, Chris, guess what? We have this cool, we have a bunch of kids who are really smart and have great ideas. How do we make this happen? So they can go to our website. Our website is graceforlife.com, the number four, great, www.grace, the number four, life.com. Um, our Instagram is graceforlifeg4l, um, mm -hmm. so they can reach us there as well. Mm -hmm. um, my email address is info at gradesforlife.com. Okay. So um, it's, it's a theme, right? right? Mm, so totally branded. I love it. <laughs> so if you, um, yeah, so that, that's, those are some ways that, that you can find me. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thanks right. a lot. And stay there. I'm coming in to interview you. Oh, you come hold okay. light right here in the window. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> My goodness. <laughs> right, thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> I'm the reason why teachers have lesson plans. Right. I was a teacher for a long okay. time. Right. So my questions are kind of leading questions, but then a wrap-up question. No, so no, that, I, should, I wrapped up too soon. Sorry, Eric. No, no, no. I just have some more questions. All right. So. Do you want me to move? Yeah, of course okay. I want you to move. Yes. This is my so freaking right show. It's my show. You move. My show. No, there is no kumbaya. I'm leaving that in just so the people know. <laughs> Chris, pleasure to meet you. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. It's good to be here. Thanks Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Jen did a nice job. She did a great job. She did a great job, Amazing. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so, I need to ask you a few questions because you started a business. Right. Um, you are a professor, as you said, mm -hmm. right? And your business model is to uh, encourage the youth, you know, to become part of the backbone of American economy, small business, be right. their entrepreneurs. So as, as a business starter, right now, this is, you started this in 2015, you said. Um, yeah, I started right? Grace for Life, or I founded Grace for Life until 2015, um, and we started really working this model um, okay. around 2017, 2018. Okay. Yeah. So um, we know that obviously there's going to be challenges, but, um, and you, you technically, you're not for profit, right? Yeah. All right. So you're not for profit. So there's a lot of small business owners out there that do create non for profits. There's guys out and gals out there that are starters. They're, they're, they have this idea. This is a great, they want to help the community. They have a mission. Um, so tell me some of the obstacles that you faced in the beginning that you, you had to overcome. Yeah. Yeah, no. I say. I mean, like in the beginning, I would say I, I really didn't know what what I was doing. I would say that. Um, but you know, I, you learn from putting one foot in front of the other. Um, so again, I started. I had an idea. Um, the idea was for like a rewards program. The rewards mm -hmm. program was meant to work with students. Um, were, was meant to work with schools, where when students get a good grade, good behavior, they get placed into a platform, and then they earn prizes and points throughout their community. So that was that was the uh, so like local business owners could provide prizes points you know so that's good for the business owner good for uh, as far as exposure right. good for the student um, you know so we started that we got a little bit of traction but what we found that is that a lot of these businesses that are in the community it's hard to reach them because there's networks are scattered you know so when you're going to different in, into different communities unless you have like a chamber of commerce and chamber of commerce have their own goals sometimes you know it's it's hard to reach them to get them on that same page in terms of nuance. Right. So then when we looked at is a lot of these kids want to be entrepreneurs, right? Mm -hmm. So we hosted our own Shark Tank and it, it went amazing. We didn't know how it was gonna go, um, but it went amazing. And the kids had a lot of stories and a lot of passion behind why they wanted to start a business. It's like that, that innocence in terms of, you know, they have the idea, but they don't necessarily know how to go through it. You know, so yeah. it's more so if we could step in teach them how to become business owners, teach them how to become leaders, um, and now they become future business owners. So that's so, we started going with that. We started seeing a lot of kids, um, they want to, they have a passion just to create, you know, create wealth and create that for the for their for their passions right, or, or right. their ideas. 
So what I would you say like I mean because you just you know it sounds like again we every time we hear an entrepreneurial story it is this baptism by fire right it's this try this good idea with this process of let's try something new I mean Mark and I it's always you know it's always been that way it's like hey I want to do this mm -hmm. and then he's like okay let's talk about it and then we go and we try it and then something evolves out of it and we throw away the garbage you know um, but I mean do you see that too with these kids like the same thing or is that the pathways they're following they have this great idea and I guess maybe because they're useful they think it's the idea you yeah know? you know I mean like we, we, we cover that in terms of like pivot right so a lot of business owners you know you pivot you, yeah. you have an idea and you think this is the one but then something happens and you're like you know what, i'm going to pivot and maybe the next idea is the, is the next idea right so right. even as adults you know i mean like we pivot right you know when something doesn't work you know you you shift and then refocus it you know as kids it's the same way you know when yeah. you're a kid you have even more time just to change your <laughs> mind and just refocus right so right. they're gonna change their mind passions change ideas change but at least as long as you have the foundation you know where to go yeah all right and um you know when you when you first started this right you you started this you so when you started that you you had already become a a, a professor a teacher correct you no know, i no? mean like a, becoming a professor um is is more recent oh that is more recent yeah, so that is okay. more recent right. all right and so did you um and and did you did and again maybe you said this already mm. but i was too busy staring at light bulbs and cameras um did you did this was this like something you that evolved because when you were working through becoming a professor you, you saw this need out there that was it was more so just going to different schools i saw there's a need for um you know more life experiences more right. more business experiences you know um certain things that schools teach you i mean like you know there's also things that you may want to learn as far as like everybody wants to i was I think i was mentioning it to jen um Everybody wants a side hustle. Everybody wants yeah. a side hustle for their side hustle, right? Everybody wants to be able to make more money, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, um, you know, I think that's 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 something that's of this generation, you know. So yeah. if we could sort of help train that and help um, bolster it. Then I think it's 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 a good thing. Awesome. And then you have any plans to? I mean, you mentioned to me when we were standing on the side, you're in Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. So we're um, we're awesome. in, we're in Passaic Passaic County. Okay. We're in Union County. Um, Somerset County and um, Essex County. Essex County, and you plan to grow further? Yeah, we want to grow it further. Yeah, so, so we want to keep we want to keep it growing. Keep that's, it growing, so you go good. from yeah. all over the state and then beyond the borders. Right. That's, right. That's exactly okay. The plan. Yeah. And you have that trajectory all set up. You have like X number year plan to make that happen. Yeah. So I do. You know. So yeah, we have the idea in terms of where we want to go um, and how we want to get there. Okay. All right, and then um, have, have, during your journey to this point, you know, you've met other organizations. Have you partnered with anybody to help you guys grow? Yeah, yeah. So I'm partnering with a lot of organizations. You know, so I believe in partnerships. You know, so um, uh, we have partners in in each of those counties um, that you know have helped us to get to where, where we want to go to. Um, and we want to we, we welcome partnerships. So yeah, you want to plug any of them? Uh, sure, I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to plug Somerset Community Action Program, SCAP, in, uh, in Somerset. I'm going to plug the Union County Urban League. Um, I'm going to plug Sounds of Tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to plug um, so many other organizations that, that I could be plugging. I'm going to plug um, Essence of Healing. Um, there's so many, so other, many right? There's so many organizations. So many. Yeah, there's so many organizations to, to, um, to plug on um, Passaic County, Somerset County. Um, so all, all the organizations that, that support us and that help us to grow, um, I want to plug them. Um, and there's even more. There's more coming. There's more. There's more. There's a lot. There's always yeah, a lot, right? Lot. And, then, and then I have all the young business owners, right? So I want to plug them too. So uh, I'll get you a list. <laughs> yeah, no, list. let's work that out. Let's figure that out. So um, you know, you're you're here in Jersey, and you know, there's a whole world to conquer out there, right? right. So if people um, from another state as mark likes to always remind me what if somebody in chicago sees this you know how did so if somebody was in chicago for you know and they saw your program i mean are you ready to go out to chicago are you ready to bring it to them are you ready to show them how to do it um yeah i'm, I'm definitely ready so again i'm always open to partnerships i uh, want more plug on raleigh youth sports um they, they support us a lot too um so yeah there's a lot of organizations that i want to plug but as far as um like partnerships and growth yeah I'm, we're looking to expand um grades for life is basically you know the um the name comes from like 
you know, if you could get a grade for how you live life, right? You know, okay. we should always do our best and try to excel. So that model, you know, we'd love to bring to anywhere. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you Excellent. coming on. And then um, I'm putting you on the spot. So we have our Biz Talk Live events that we'd like to bring to an event to you to your youth and to inspire enlighten and empower them by bringing some speakers to the table so we'll talk about that i love it all let's right. do it awesome thanks a lot thank you yeah. all, right. all right that was good mm -hmm. all right so we're going to do a